First, we'll start out with how your typical Office user will benefit from review. Any user in any industry will be able to take advantage of Review's markup tools, tool chest, and document manipulation features. Let me show you how they work. I've opened up a couple of documents in Review using the File Access tab. This tab allows me to pin files that I access on a frequent basis. This way, instead of having to sort through an entire folder structure, I can just click right on the document. If I need to make some changes to the page order or orientation, I can do so from the Thumbnails tab here. I can click and drag to move pages around, or replace one of the pages using the right-click context menu. I also have the ability to edit text within my PDFs, like so. I can add comments to this document using Review's markup features. Any of the tools that I use here can be customized and stored for later use in the tool chest. Let's say we don't like the yellow highlighter and would prefer to be using a blue one. I select my markup and simply change the color from this drop-down menu here. I can also change it using the Properties tab. Now, let's say we use this blue highlighter a lot, but we don't really want it to be the default settings. I can right-click and add this to my proofreading symbols so that it's always available. Speaking of proofreading, it looks like we're missing a comma here. Let's use the preloaded proofreading tool set to let our editor know that there's a change required. As you can see, modifying PDFs using review is easy. Users can set up the tools and interface to their own specifications and start working right away. Now let's talk about some of the more specific industry applications. In addition to your basic markup and editing features, the legal industry uses Review mainly to streamline the redaction and Bates numbering processes. Redaction allows users to pull sensitive information out of a document and is only available in Review Extreme. If we're working on a case and we need to send this legal document out, we would want to make sure that our client's name and personal information is protected. With Review, I can quickly remove any information individually or I can search for all instances using the Search tab check all results, and then mark all of them for redaction. Let's do a quick check before we apply these, and yep, everything looks good. So let's apply the redactions, and now as you can see, the information can no longer be located in this document, even if you search for it specifically. Now let's talk about Bates numbers. These are unique numbers used to identify case documents in the legal industry. With Review, these are applied the same way that you would apply a header or a footer. Select any prefixes or suffixes, a start number, and the number of digits you'd like to use, and voila! You've now uniquely numbered every page in your document. You can also apply these in batches to streamline the process of wading through all of that case-related documentation. Now that we've gone through a few of the legal selling points, Let's talk about government entities. Government customers like Review for its price point, but also for the ability to standardize. It's great for deploying across multiple departments because the administrators will be able to use the standard markups, but the Public Works team will still get to access their necessary document comparison features, and everyone can be working from the same program. A few of the big concerns for government customers are digital signatures, document security, and digital archival. These all work together in a pretty easily understandable workflow. First off, I need my documents to be secure when I send them out, so Review allows users to password protect their documents. Occasionally, these need to be signed, so Review allows customers to sign PDFs in a few different ways. The first is using an image of your signature, which is the least secure but tends to be one of the more common uses. The second way is to create a digital signature within Review. This signature is encrypted and fully compliant with the government's digital signature requirements. The final way is to use a third-party digital signature, which can be imported from here. Finally, I need to be able to store my documents indefinitely, and preferably digitally, so we don't need as many filing cabinets taking up space in the office. Review can batch create PDFs from Word, 
Excel, PowerPoint, Revit, AutoCAD, and other programs, and can create PDF-A documents, which is the standard format for document archiving and is viewable by any PDF viewer. Okay, now let's talk about your enterprise customers. Price point isn't such a big deal to these guys, but it never hurts to mention it since everyone likes saving money. The main thing enterprise customers are looking at are standardization and integration with their current systems. Review provides a great way to standardize across offices or entire companies by exporting common tool sets and profiles. This way, everyone can be working with the same basic tools in the same way, but still be able to customize them to fit their personal needs. Review also integrates directly into SharePoint and ProjectWise, which a lot of your customers are using already to store and manage their documents. It's always good to have software that plays well together, and Review will even store your login credentials for easy document checkout. Finally, let's talk about the biggest hassle for enterprise customers, getting all this new software out to each of the end users and managing where everything is installed. Review offers network deployment packages that allow you to silently install Review across the entire company. While you're at it, you can push out the standard profiles and tool sets too, so everyone's ready to go right when they start up their machine. And for managing licenses, Review offers enterprise licensing, which provides you with monthly installation reports so you always know exactly how many seats are being used at any given time. You also no longer need to uninstall licenses manually before wiping computers that are being decommissioned, because with enterprise licensing, the machine automatically unregisters after 15 days which means you can go ahead and install that license on the new machine that just came in. You've also got a 5% installation overage, so you can install a few extra machines while you're waiting for those older licenses to unregister. All right, we've covered everything from the very basics all the way up to managing licenses at a massive company. As you can see, review really is applicable across a lot of industries.